did you know that you can edit your video after you post it on YouTube and not lose your views. Now there are certain things that you can and can't do, but it is really good. A couple of these tips I'm going to show you. It's good to know in case you post your video, you have all these views and then you find out that maybe you forgot to blur something out, or maybe you want to trim part of it and, and make it a little bit shorter. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I want you to go into your YouTube channel and, and go to your homepage and we'll take it from there. What, go under content where your videos are and just choose one of your videos. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And then you're going to slide down here to where it says editor. Now remember, you can't cut anywhere you want. We have a trim and cut feature right here. Unfortunately, you can only trim and cut on either end of the video. So if I click that as something I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and put a plus sign by it. I'm going to scroll this down. I can trim the beginning of a video as much as I want or I can trim the end of the video. So maybe you have decided to take off your end screen. Maybe you've decided that that's just taking up time and a lot of people aren't watching it and your average of your views on your videos aren't very good. So you're going to trim those off and you can just go to the end here, find out where it's at and trim it and then select. Okay. I'm not going to trim it for real, but I just wanted to show that to you. Now I'm looking at the same video and I tried to find something there that maybe I need to blur. Maybe I, was speaking and I had something in the background or I was showing a chart and I didn't want all the information to show, you can add a blur right here, just select blur. And then you can put that on top of whatever it is that you need to hide. You can also select a face blur, but here's a custom blur and you just get a, a square there and you can just hide whatever it is that you need to hide like that. Okay. If you want to, you can, you have a choice that you can select the face blur where it will go in and find all faces and blur them out or you can do the custom and you can go in and do it yourself so if you want all the faces blurred out or a certain face that's in your video it'll take some time to process but it will go in find that face and then you'll say blur this face out so maybe you have some children in the background or somebody that didn't want to be in your video or you're outside somewhere taping and you're trying not to get people's faces in there you can just select face blur blur and it will go in and you can select them and take it out. It does take a few minutes, so I can't, I'm not going to go do it, but that's basically what it does. Audio, you can add audio to your video after you've already uploaded it. So um, I just did a video last week where I showed you where to get the audio. If you want some music at it, let's say you want to add the music after you've already posted it, you can do that. You just select this here and it will allow you to add that video after it's already been Posted. The last thing that you can do that is very helpful after you upload your video, you've already got views, you can add end cards and you can add or end screens and info, info cards. So if you later make a video that is applicable to something that you've you're making now, you can come back and put it on. So for instance, last week I did make the video about adding music and I knew I was going to make this one this week. I might go ahead and put this video as a card in that one, if that makes sense, after the fact, because you can't always get them all in. Let's say you're making a stream of like six videos and you want them all to be interconnected. You can go back in them and add those cards wherever you want. And you can also update that end screen. Maybe you um, came up with a new idea, a playlist that you've been working on that you wanted it to be there at the end, instead of the one that you put there, you can go ahead and add that after the fact. The only thing you can't do, which I'm working on, I think I found a way, um, you can't cut anything out in the middle. I have a video that I actually had someone bring to my attention that for some reason my audio did not match the visual. There was a big gap and I could not take it back to my Camtasia editor and separate it and take it out. It wouldn't allow me to do it. So I am working on a different editor that I think I can that's going to allow me to do that. And I will definitely share that with you as soon as I get that mastered. All right. I hope this was helpful. It, I, I know when you're new, you, you sometimes make errors and you're not sure if you go back and watch something that you've posted, you can go back and do some of these different corrections, if, you, if uh, editing corrections, and it is very helpful to know. So give me a thumbs up, comment below, and let me know what you think. And you have a blessed day.